In this video, I will guide you on how to complete the Novice Beginner's Guide in Dragon Nest C. In addition, I will give important tips that can help you clear the Novice Beginner's Guide much faster. So, be sure to watch the whole video. Before we start, important note, if you haven't cleared the Newbie Beginner's Guide, I recommend that you watch it first before moving on to the Novice Beginner's Guide. I've put the video link in the video description below. Now that is out of the way. Let's start. To clear the Novice Guide faster, I've created a strategy on what you should do and get first. You might ask that. Okay, what do we need to do? First, you will need to get all 5 Minnows equipment, and to do that, get the Minnows Helm after you finish the Newbie Beginner's Guide. For the Minnows Upper Body, you would need to clear Forsaken Islet at Labyrinth 1 or above difficulty. Next. To get the Minnows Lower Body, you must equip any Heraldry. For the Minnows Gloves use Hockule on Magic Vibrant Plate. To get the Minnows Shoes, you must clear Manticore Nest at Labyrinth 4 difficulty and above. Now, for the second task, you would need to farm 2000 gold, and to do that, let's do a mission board quest at Labyrinth 6. To see your missions, press L, then go to the mission tab on the right side of the window. A few minutes later. After farming 2000 gold, the next task now is to replenish the used FTG to complete the next task, which is to clear all novice nests task at Labyrinth 9. To replenish our FTG, we need to do the novice guide task number 1, which is to enhance the minnow's helm to plus 1. To enhance the minnow's helm, go and talk to any blacksmith NPC in St. Haven and select enhance item. What can I do for you, young adventurer? If you're looking for the best equipment, you're in the right place. After enhancing the minnow's helm to plus 1, get the rewards in the mail and open the FTG potion. Okay, now that we have 2000 gold, let's find Novice Labyrinth 9 Nest Service Party on the party list. Press O, then search Novice in the search bar and join the party. For the price of 2000 gold, some people are willing to help us clear all nests at Labyrinth 9 and above difficulty. After clearing all nest at Labyrinth 9, get the rewards in the mail. The third task now is, to clear the Deep Abyss of Nightmare one time. Press O, then search NM in the search bar and join the party named, Free NM for Gold, and join the party. After clearing Deep Abyss of Nightmare, get the rewards in the mail. 
For the fourth task, all we have to do now is to clear all dungeon tasks left on the novice guide task list. After clearing all dungeon tasks, get the rewards in the mail. After completing all dungeon tasks, the next thing to do now is to clear the miscellaneous task left. First is to purchase one vibrant heraldry pouch from the stage shop using 25 contaminated tetrastone fragments. And to buy it, go and talk to any Priestess of Darkness NPC in St. Haven and select the stage shop. The next task is to purchase the Libria Heraldry. Go and talk to Space Information Galsperia H3 in St. Haven, and select Libria Store, then buy the Libria Heraldry using 800 Librium points. To upgrade Libria Heraldry to version 3.05, you will need to buy 10 Update Package version 1, 10 Update Package version 2, and 5 Update Package version 3. To use the update package right click on the update package, and right click on the Libria Heraldry. Use first the 10 update package version 1, then after that, use the 10 update package version 2, and use the last 5 update package version 3. The next task is to purchase one Dragon Jade using Red Jewel. Go and talk to any Priestess of Darkness NPC in St. Haven, and select Nest Shop, and purchase one Dragon Jade to do this task. After that, the next task is to enhance a Dragon Jade to plus one, and to do it, go and talk to any Blacksmith NPC in St. Haven and select Enhance Dragon Jade. Right-click the Dragon Jade and press the Enhance button to start enhancing. The next task is to equip a Dragon Jade. Press right-click on a Dragon Jade, and right-click on the item, and press OK button to equip. The next task now, is to craft one unidentified Vibrant Talisman. To do this, go and talk to any Blacksmith NPC in St. Haven, select Craft Item, go to the Dragon Jade Talisman tab, select the Vibrant Talisman crafting page, and craft one unidentified Vibrant Talisman. Now get the rewards in the mail. The next task now, is to use Ound Sweet Wine to reroll the Vibrant Talisman to level 5. Now get the rewards in the mail again. Okay, after rerolling the Talisman to level 5, the next task is to use the Sap of Life to evolve the Vibrant Talisman. For the next task, all that you need to do is equip a Vibrant Talisman. Right-click the Talisman to equip it. 
and before we move on to the last task, you must claim all unclaimed rewards in the mail. Now, the last task is to get the Novice End of Dreams pouch using 37 Dragon Nest Novice Dream Ticket in the Mission Bulletin Board Store. Go and talk to BST Point Shop NPC, click on the Mission Bulletin Board Store, select the Ticket Exchange tab, and purchase the Novice End of Dreams pouch. For the next video, I will guide you on how to complete the Dragon Nest Veteran Beginner's Guide. So, stay tuned, so you won't miss it. Is this video helpful to you? If yes, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. If you have any more questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. That's all for this guide. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.